Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna do something a little different, which is to evaluate my turntable's distortion. So to do this, I needed to buy a audio system test record. And so most of you would say, well, why don't you just listen to it? You know, it's all about the music. I get that a lot, actually. Um, however, um, I'm very curious, uh, just from an objective standpoint, obviously I listen as well. Um, but turntables have been a little bit elusive to me just simply because you need something like this to uh, produce the signal. And so this has a dual tone test signal which allows you to set up your uh, anti-skating adjustment among other things. It has pink noise but for today um, we're just going to look at the intermodulation distortion on two different cartridges. So. Um, how I have everything set up is I'm just going to play the test tones through my speaker and then it's going to go into the artist software and we're going to look at the spectrum of the signals and just see where our intermodulation distortion lies. Okay, so the test signals are 1 kilohertz and 1.5 kilohertz and so let's get started. Just got to move it there slightly. Band 4, Anti-Skating Adjustment, Level 1. Not the most pleasant sound. So here we can see our 1 kilohertz and the 1.5 kilohertz. And then we have our intermodulation product here and here. And so this is 2.5 kilohertz. It's going to be the 1.5 kilohertz plus the one kilohertz to sum uh, to the 2.5. Now the actual 1.5 tone is not exactly 1.5. It's uh, it's uh, 1550 approximately. So we can see uh, just based on this we have uh, one, two, three, and maybe 34 dB of uh, noise on this particular cartridge. And so this be the, being the worst offender, and then we have the other one that's a little bit lower. But let's switch over to the Audio-Technica and see if it's much improved. Okay, so now we've installed the Audio-Technica VM540. You can see it there. And so we're going to conduct the exact same test. And I've just overlaid, saved this as an overlay from the, the previous cartridge there. And so we can begin our test tone again and then see the difference. Band 4, anti-skating adjustment, level 1. Okay, so the black is the Audio-Technica and then the blue, the uh, 2002 cartridge that we first tested and then the Audio-Technica, which you can see here with the black. So you can see that the test tones are the same amplitude as the previous test. However, we're getting much lower uh, intermodulation distortion with this particular cartridge. And so if we were to look at the actual values, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have 60 dB, which is incredible, um, considering that this is a turntable and analog. So um, now I set the, uh, the weight to 1.4 grams. The manufacturer says that you can go up to 2.2. And so I'm just gonna do the exact same test and see if the 2.2 uh, takes the distortion, uh, makes it even better. Okay, so I've just increased the weight there to 2.2 and I've saved, I can only save one overlay at a time and so I've simply overwritten the previous overlay and so this this result that you're seeing here is the weight at 1.8 grams and so I'm going to go ahead and run the test and then we'll do an overlay between 1.8 and 2.2 grams. Band 4 Anti-skating adjustment, level one. So 
Okay, so no real change there um, with the uh, different weights, but it's always interesting to check. So uh, there you have it. Um, Audio-Technica VM540 uh, measures considerably better than what I had before. And so I actually did just pull up the two uh, web pages here to compare the two. So this, the first test was conducted with the Microacoustics MA2002. And then the uh, current one that I have installed is the uh, VM540 ML. Okay, so just obviously listening to the two the Audio Technica is far superior. Um, this is actually a recent purchase for me, and I am completely thrilled with the performance of this particular cartridge. And so, um, excellent result. Uh, take care and have a great day.